What's the crack lads? Welcome back to the channel. We are back and ready to review some of the players and we're wearing the Japanese national kit for these Japanese summer tour cards, right? So listen, man, if you want to spin for these, I would say that you're probably not going to get the best version of these cards. And I'm going to show you why very, very simply, right? This Sané that we have is going to be the first training guide that I do. We're going to have two options of him, but you're really kind of tied to where you're going to be playing this Sané, right? Because the first thing is that if you are going to be using him, you have to decide whether you want to play him as a left midfielder or a left winger. The reason for that is because you need to train up things a little bit differently, right? Um, he can play left or right wing, but he can't play right mid. He can play left mid. The biggest problem with this card, when you compare him to the best version of Sané that they've ever released, is that this whole player Sané is insane. And he can play as an attacking midfielder because he's down as an attacking midfielder. And that whole player playing style is super overpowered, right? I'm working on a lot of stuff to explain a lot of the fundamentals of the game. Um, but when you're talking about training up cards, right? The biggest thing with training up cards is getting the best version of that card for suiting your system. And that whole player, Sané, is just unequaled, in my opinion, as a whole player. Now, he's down as a prolific winger. This Sané with the Japanese version of him, the Summer Tour, 26 levels to go. If I'm going to be training him up, I'm going to look to see what actually works, right? I do think that the gameplay is going to be tweaked for eFootball 2024. But to do a quick training guide on him, we're going to take a quick look over here at his card, right? So 26 levels. This is the first version of Sané that we're going to do very, very, very quickly here. So this is going to be our dribble-centric left wing, our right wing option, right? Yes, he does go to a 91 as a left midfielder, but this is definitely the best version of him if you're just looking for raw speed and delivery with finishing. Like if you want to finish a couple of shots, um, I do think that Messi is still the best right winger cutting in onto the left foot or Salah is quite decent as well. It pains me to say that as a United fan, but he is quite decent at doing that if you know the limitations of the card. And with this Sané, we're going to have 88 ball control, 93 dribbling, 87 tight possession, but we're also going to have 78 finishing, 92 speed, 91 acceleration and 79 balance. So while the offensive awareness and the balance isn't as high as you can go on this card, it's a very solid card, right? Depending on how much you're going to be playing with this card, the stamina is going to be an issue, right? So if you only plan on playing him for one half, I would definitely put that at two and free up a few more spaces if you want to get your shooting to 80, which is pretty decent for a winger. Or else you could go the other route and go with the dexterity to get that up to 78. Offensive awareness will get it boosted into the 80 with the form arrow and also get the balance up to 82. This card is going to be used as an impact player. You've got the player skills. You've also got long range drive, dipping shots, long range shooting, first time shot and one touch pass. You don't have double touch on this card, which is a little bit of a pity. I do think that this card should have had double touch, um, but he has inconsistent form. So that's the biggest thing that you're going to look at in this card. That is really what ties it down and why he needs to be an impact player. He's not going to start for you. Even with the player form rating comes back with the new season, I still think he's a bit too much hit and miss, especially when you're comparing him with this Sané that we have here. Um, which has got, you know, standard form and he's got a whole player and he's got one touch pass and super sub. So I do feel like that this card definitely could benefit from boosting him up with player skills because you can't add player skills to Sané. You can't give him double touch, but you don't even need it, man. He's just a beast of a player. The second option that we have just to keep this video short and sweet as a training guide is another 94 right winger overall rated but he's a very different player, right? So we've got no shooting on this card. We've got nine into passing, which brings the lofted pass up to 85 and then 12 into dexterity to bring the balance to 85, but the acceleration more importantly to 97. So this card is all about having consistency on the wing. You'll have seen a lot of gameplay clips where I'm creating overlaps um, with my left midfielders or right wingers or left wingers if I'm playing Diaby up there or Alex Cromaldo. And it's all about just getting the ball into your target, man. You know what I mean? So that is the training guide for him. If you're looking for the ultimate two versions, you've got your finishing uh, right or left winger, and you've got your passing left midfielder slash left winger with a sub tactic if you want to go that route. So that is it for me. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe. Short and sweet. Next few players will be up soon.